Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making some pineapple habanero hot sauce. We're going to be using pineapple, lemon juice, sea salt, cilantro, habaneros, and then I forgot to include it but we're also going to be using white vinegar. We'll start by removing the stems from our habaneros and then cutting them in half. I'm also going to be saving some of the seeds so that I can grow more later. Next, we'll cut up our pineapple and then slice it into about one inch slices. After the pineapple and habaneros are all cut up, we're going to place them on the grill. We want to leave them on the grill just long enough so that the edges start to get a little bit crispy, but we don't want to fully cook them. While those are on the grill, we're going to sanitize our bottles. The way we do this is we're going to place them in a pot full of water, and then we're going to slowly bring that water up to a boil and let it boil for about 20 minutes. This will kill any bacteria or viruses that could be on our bottles. We'll do the same thing with the lids. After everything's been taken off the grill, we're going to add it to the blender. We're going to start with the pineapple. You can cut it up into smaller chunks to make it a little bit more manageable. Next, we'll add our habaneros. If you notice, not everything fit into my blender, but that's okay. We'll blend it up in two separate batches. Next, I added a small handful of cilantro. followed by a generous amount of lemon juice. Add half a teaspoon of sea salt. I added one cup of white vinegar. Once all of your ingredients are added, you'll want to blend it into a liquid. That looks like the perfect consistency. After it's blended, we'll take the contents from our blender and put them into a pot and we'll stir it on medium heat for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, we want to measure our pH. I'm doing this using pH strips. We want to shoot for a pH below 4.0 because that'll prevent bacteria growth and give us a much longer shelf life. 
If you do need to adjust your pH and bring it a little bit lower, you can always add a little bit more vinegar. Our pH is right about 3.0, which is perfect. I poured all of my sauce into a pitcher because it'll make bottling it quite a bit easier. Now we can fill our bottles. I'm using a funnel to make it a lot easier so that I don't make a mess. After I filled my bottles, I put this heat shrink plastic around the necks to give it a much more finished look. I used a blow dryer, but afterwards I found out that it probably would have worked better just dipping the tips in boiling water because it will give it a much more even shrink. So that pretty much wraps up our video. All we really have left is a taste test. So I have this one bottle that I saved for myself. The rest I'm gonna probably give to like family and friends. So anyways, we're gonna open it up. And let's see. Woo. Oh, that's really good. Oh my gosh. That's really good. It starts out really, really sweet. Um, the heat takes about five seconds to actually kick in. But when it does, it's definitely hot. So, very, very good. Um, definitely try this at home. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know any other recipes you guys like too. And maybe I'll try those out in the future. Um, so this should have a shelf life of a couple months to a couple years if you made it correctly with like pH and sanitizing the bottles. So anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a like, comment, and maybe even subscribe. I'll see you next time.